this crater was made by a Birkeland current. And a Birkeland current is this. It's uh, the two filaments that wrap around each other that, that look like kind of like a rope or a braid. Um, here's another one. Right here is a drawing of it. Okay. Um, let's see. Here's another one. This is a Birkeland current. Even though NASA thinks it's a nebula, nebula it's still a Birkeland current. Anyways, you can see how they, they look like braids. And if you look up here, you can see the same kind of indentation along this crater. They look kind of like something wrapped around each other or spun, you know, like a screw or something, spun around. First thing I want to say is that obviously plate tectonics is incorrect. Um, it can't possibly be right. What I think has happened is that I believe our planet has a plasma core. And I believe it has Birkeland currents running in it. And I believe also that our planet increases in size from the core out. Basically what I'm saying is that on the surface features of our planet, you can find the information that shows you how the Earth was created. It's... Uh, right on the surface. It would be there and it would be spread out all over the place. And uh, this crater has a lot to do with the beginning of this, the planet. And um, like I said before, Birkeland currents created this crater. How do I know this? Well, I found the mountains that were once Birkeland currents. They became frozen. I know this is hard to believe, but, but it's true. If you look at these mountains right here, you can kind of tell that they wrap around each other. That's what they look like. They're round like filaments. And there's two of them. And they just so happen to be what created this crater. If you can see that, you got to remember these are on opposite sides of the, uh, the planet. And they fit perfect. Not only that, you can see that these mountains created those this uh, texture right here. You can tell that they're the same thing. See that? They fit in every which way possible. Even this little, it looks like a little eye or whatever right here, even fits in there. It has a, its own little thing right there. You can see where it fits. Now, <clears throat> check this out. Well, also I wanted to show you that this kind of fits around here too. Um, if I rotate this, You can see how this fits in there. Like that. But if I <clears throat> rotate this down towards India, but you'll notice that the mountains line up on the left side of India and on the right side Amazon river discharge pattern lines up with the right side of India completing what looks like a vortex shaped continent and uh, I believe that this may be very similar to the vortex that, that created the rest of the planet and it's kinda why India has a unique shape to it and uh, anybody with two eyes can see this. And anybody with uh, two hands can overlay this with Google Earth images. And anybody can put this together in their head and figure this out. That uh, the current science is absolutely it's wrong. They're, they're looking at the planet completely wrong. And uh, this is what I've showed you here barely even covers what I have. I, I have. I have tons more evidence. The whole surface of the planet is my evidence. And um, this is just the beginning. Thanks for listening. Oh, also, here's a close-up of the, the mountains uh, in South America over that crater in China. Notice that there's 
very little erosion between the two. They, they look like they split apart yesterday. That should give you an idea on how old this planet really is. Thanks. Here's the Amazon discharge right here in white and here are those Berkman current mountains and I want to show you what this looks like over China you can see how it matches up it just matches up everywhere you look the only reason they match up this well is because they're related and that's just that this used to sit in there but this is rotated now so that I can show you this this is the discharge right here you can tell that they're both responsible for the creation of, of this gouge and this planet you don't think it's coincidence do you also <clears throat> I wanted to note that Notice here's the Himalayans, and then here's those mountains in South America, almost as they continue on.